What's up guys, David here, one, two, and two, and it's list day. Ah yes, list day, and today we're doing the top five cards to cosplay in Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> cosplay is really fun to do, you know, clearly I am cosplaying my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! spin-off protagonist, Issei Hyodo, with his dual disc. And given the fact that it is Halloween, it is the perfect time of the year to bust out your arts and craft skills. But Dave, there's like 10,000 cards in this game. What cards could I possibly cosplay as that are both a practical one to do, where it's not like a big stupid dragon or a robot or something? It's also gonna be a card that someone's gonna know. Well, I have five suggestions. <laughs> I suppose if you're going to some sort of Comic-Con, this would also be a useful list to you. Assuming that the next five entries are not just going to be a bunch of jokes. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started. Number five might be one of the most iconic cards on the list, and that is Karibo. Karibo is a fantastic cosplay. You just do like a giant, like, paper mache ball with your arms and legs sticking out of the damn thing, and you just cover it in fur. And it's super versatile too, cause like you could just not put the fur on and then you're either Nibiru or Sphere Mode. And if you put an extra eye in the middle, you're Sangan. Holy crap, this is a, this is actually kind of a clever cosplay. This was a joke. Not only that, like somebody might actually know what a Karibo is. It's no Dark Magician Girl, but hey, you know what, who knows? I wish this plane would go away. I finally stopped using the AI because I don't no longer need to be running the AC in my room. And for some odd reason, that means now that outside needs to be as loud as possible. It's incredibly disrespectful. <sighs> anyway, next up. All right, so, Dave, I love your ideas for going as Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I need to do something that me and the boys can go as, you know? Bring the whole crew. Well, that's why you need Exiled Force. Especially if the party you're going to is nothing but a bunch of goat players, the only people are gonna know what the hell this thing is. <laughs> Fantastic spot removal, and you can give every girl at the party this look. Don't, don't do, don't do that. No offense, but I think it's kind of gross. Not only all of that, but, uh, no one's gonna know... No one's gonna know the hell they're talking about. <laughs> oh, man. This is gonna be... This is, this is just a goofy thing, isn't it? Balance Breaker! <laughs> but, hey, you know what? It's at least a fun group costume that you can do that's not just the Wizard of Oz. So, hey, it's not the worst idea. By that logic, you should probably actually go as the Cosmo cards, because that'd actually be a good suggestion. No, it'd actually do that. Do that. Do th Farm Girl... Uh, good witch, wicked. That, that's a that's a thousand times better idea. That's actually a good idea, not a joke. My Discord helps me make these lists almost every single week. I go on the list help channel and say, "Hey boys, it's that time again. Uh, top ten whatevers, and just you know, give me what you got." I come in with my executive, you know, uh, gear make some final adjustments, but for the most part, they're the ones doing it. I probably should have given them more direction because their next suggestion was Supreme King Gate Zero. I think they're screwing with me. This thing is just a giant donut. And if you go as this thing, everyone's gonna just ask you if you're a Stargate. However, the one thing it does pretty well is also be a pretty convincing Cat Queen cosplay. It's a wado. <laughs> However, you could totally have like a big thing like dark worm taped to your chest or whatever. That you could have some fun with it, especially if you can make it look like you're actually like you know a, a, a actual donut. Like like put like a flat screen TV in here and it shows whatever is behind you. It'd be really complex and require like a a bunch of gizmos, but it could be pretty freaking sweet. So screw you guys. I actually made something out of this one. Oh, thank God, this next one's a real suggestion. Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Dante's a cool card from a good deck that people would know. <laughs> and it's just a guy, so, and, and he's wearing clothes. So you could conceivably make this costume. This is a real suggestion, <laughs> yeah. And not only that, it's a great couple's costume because you, you could go as Beatrice with your girlfriend. Or your, well, your girlfriend would go as, no, I'd go as Beatrice. No, I would go as tour guide, his side piece. But only after I hit 50k. I'll make that OnlyFans too for you. Boost! Not only is it a doable cosplay, it actually would be cool because Dante's a cool card and it looks like it'd be fun. Like he's got like his like a Bible over here or something and like a sword and he's got like the gizmos and, and yeah, like and like the hair thing. Like this would be actually be a fun one to do. This is doable and would be cool. Thanks guys for giving me a real one. 
Alright, so the honorable mention for this list is going to be Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl. Everyone does these, they always look and they always end up looking weird because apparently, like, I think it's the Dark Magician Girl's hat. It's like kind of suspended in her hair, it's not really on her head, and we don't think much of it just like looking at a card artwork, but when you see people try to do it, they actually try to wear it as a hat, and it just never looks right. And I think it's because it's actually kind of impossible, but had you been able to figure it out, it, it's, a, it's a good cosplay to do either of these guys. However guys, remember, if you're going to do a Dark Magician card, don't do Magician of Dark Illusion. Why? But, Jason, do you want to explain this one? It's Blackface with a funny hat! Thank you so much guys for watching the video. If you guys want to help support the channel, check out my links down in the description below. I've got links to the Discord, Facebook, and Patreon if you want to get in touch with me, help with the lists, things like that. Or if you want to save some money, you can head over to Metamat's website, use my code TROLLMETA at checkout. You can save 10% off a custom cloth playmat like one of these bad boys. Or if you want to waste your money on expensive cardboard, use my TCG player link in the description below and put off your financial obligations. And number one, according to my Discord, is the, oh, the left leg of Exodia. Guys, come on. More like the third leg of Exodia. <laughs> the third leg of Exodia. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, demonetized. You know what? Screw those jerks. I know how you would do this one. Black morph suit, and you just put the armor on one leg, and you just kind of hop around the party and kick people. That's all you have to do. It's perfect. I made them. I fixed it. Hey, and you know what? This would be a better group costume than Exiled Force, because you got you all could go as different pieces of it, and then, and then you could like do stupid photo ops. So you're all kind of like doing like the, the the like the staying in a line thing, like doing this, and you could be like, stop, shut up, Jason. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be a shitty story. I think this is a cool idea. Screw you. That's a terrible idea. Fucking Modi. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was obviously just for fun. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think, and hopefully next time I will have my beard back and I won't feel so freaking naked. It's it's really waking me out. I, You're cold, aren't you? I'm freezing. <laughs> and remember, guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I will see you guys next time. Boost. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Well, 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 look who's back. Be sure to subscribe to the channel this time, or I will use my Millennium Rod and do devious, devious things to you. Evil things. Also, by the way, Bakora never did ever get that milk. I did get the bloody milk. No, you didn't. This is oat milk. It's not real milk. It needs to come from a cow. How do you milk an oat?